Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and happy flipping Monday. You can tell that I'm just got a touch of the flu, cold, whatever it was, coming off of it. And that's why I haven't really touched base with any of you guys. I've gotten phone calls, and I don't know about emails and, and Facebook and Twitter because in YouTube, uh, I haven't been here in a couple of days. Between being sick, exhausted, uh, and an internet glitch on Sunday when I had enough in energy to touch base with you guys and then got frustrated. So anyway, this is just a Monday update. Uh, what am I doing today? Putting up these handy little flyers. Uh, if you're a local, you're going to start seeing these. And I wanted to make sure uh, that everybody gets the information. So I'm going to read this to you real quick. And please share this information, even if it uh, is out of your school district. Parents of SAU 9 school district students, have you or your child been treated unjustly by our local schools? Do you have reason to believe that certain groups of kids receive less than fair treatment or equal opportunity? Have you tried to rectify these situations only to become exhausted and ignored? I am currently documenting accounts such as these along with blatant public lies by the school district. Please contact me immediately in hopes that together we can create an environment that is suitable for all children regardless of income level, educational needs, or social status. And then my email, kevin at masteroftmanythings.com, and my phone number, 603-452-7086. I want this information to every parent here. And I know I heard, and you know, I've talked to people every day that are locals. I've heard the, the gripes, and I'm doing, I'm going to do something about this uh, school system. Phone call, it could be important. Back in a moment. Okay, sorry folks, back with you, but I've, I've got to keep my eye on the phone because uh, this thing's happening here locally. Um, now, that notice I just read, I'm putting up wherever there's a place to put public notices all over town. Um, that's going to reach a few people. Uh, I hand them out as I'm talking to people. Uh, I did yesterday when I went to a yard sale. Uh, before I get too far away, I want to thank everybody for your support. Work has been like chasing a, a Super Bowl, um, and it's real frustrating. So uh, the few donations that came in were really helpful. Uh, that really actually um, basically paid between the, the donations and um, the site sponsors who I'll be putting banners up for. Two more uh, people will have banners on the site for a whole year. They took advantage of that. So that all helped, and that, that took care of... Um, the rent for a week, which is a big deal, and then I generated some work, uh, work through being sick. That's why I didn't touch base with you guys, because I was on a roof all day and had the flu, and, you know, so when nighttime came, I wasn't doing anything but just going to sleep. Uh, but I want to thank you guys all. It really carried us through a hard time, and we're still bouncing. Uh, I'm waiting to hear now about work for this week, so hopefully that'll come through. Um, but taking care of business here locally, I, I, as far as the school system goes. Um, I hear the, the gripes every day, and I know the machine is exhausting. You, you can't file a request and a grievance and take a number and stand in line because by the time your issue really ever gets fully addressed, you've been spun out, discouraged, uh, angered to the point that you just give up, or um, maybe your children are out of school by the time it actually gets addressed and you think that it gets addressed fairly. Uh, so it happens over and over and over and, and we can't have it. I'm not going to have it. Now I want to give you guys a scenario with my oldest. Uh, you know that most of my issues here stem from the middle school, but I, wa I want to show that this isn't an attack on one school. This is district-wide and this is actually nationwide. So if the things I talk about in relation to this apply to you and you're somewhere else, um, I'm certainly available to help you in any way that I can. Please reach out to me. But if you're a local, please get a hold of me immediately. If you want to remain anonymous, I will uh, just take your information and you'll remain anonymous because I know there are some of you that do fear repercussion from the school district and that's another thing that I need to prove uh, because I know it's happening. Now I need to prove it. So I don't care. You want to remain anonymous? That's fine. Let me document your information um, in a way that will allow you to be anonymous but give accounts uh, generalized times, things things of that nature. Um, and for those of you that are bold enough to, to speak, because um, I'm standing here next to you, let me come to your place and take a th short three to five minute video of your situation and let me put that out on YouTube. Um, because once I do go to the school board, 
um, you'll all come with me and you all won't have to go. That's the great thing about this. Um, it's exhausting to go through this, but this is what I want to do. This is what I intend to do on all levels. So we got to start with the kids. we got to start with the way they're being taught, how they're being managed, uh, if we're going to change anything and I have to act here and I know that here is not a nice place if you're some kids in the school district so anyway with Zach he was kicked off the bus now school protocol says that they call you if there are two incidences they did not they waited till there were five incidences of Zach standing up and some language uh, boy teenage stuff uh, nothing severe but inappropriate for a bus so he got an internal suspension and was kicked off the bus so, during the week, I would drop him off at 10 minutes, quarter to 7, 10 minutes to 7, 40, 45 minutes before the start of the day, because he can't ride the bus, and I can't dick around, I've got to get to work and pay the bills, um, just one person here, and the school's fully aware that I'm a single parent, that, that doesn't matter, okay, uh, and I don't want you to make exception for me, uh, that's fine. So I drop him off, and him and his friend Noah try to get into the school, the door is locked. So they walk down the hill, meet their friends. They have 40 minutes to occupy. It's kind of chilly out. It is fall, 40 degrees or somewhere around there. Chilly to sit in one spot, okay, outside. So they walk to meet their friends. They were back on time. They didn't partake in any illegal activity or there's no reason to believe that anything afoul was happening. and they uh, are going to receive an internal suspension for that and they were searched later in the day gotta research so it wasn't searched by police either just administrators from the school you're not gonna do that anymore no I don't care what your policy is I have to review it it maybe it does say that they're allowed to do that maybe they say they're allowed to do that I say you're not there will be uh, a cease and desist order being sent to the school very soon. They will not search any of my children without warrant, without my verbal permission. That's the only two ways those kids are ever going to get searched. End of discussion. I don't care what your written policy is because you yourself don't follow your policy. Now, when at the meeting, which I'm going to show you the file, folks, I had a meeting about this disturbance with Zachary on the bus. And the principal, with an attitude like he's smarter than I and a smug look on his face, said, yes, Mr. Allen, I'm aware that you want to record this, and that's fine, but you can't release it publicly. I've got to research the law on that. I think as long as we're all aware that it's being recorded, I can release it publicly. But what I'd rather do is let you know that I'm being censored and the meeting's being censored, and that during that meeting, the school did admit to not following their own protocol, their excuse was is that they were understaffed, so us being very compromising people and understanding that everybody's human here, and we all make mistakes, and we don't have to penalize everybody if we don't just follow the written verbiage. I did ask how, what assurances that do I have that the school is not going to do this, but there's no the school isn't penalized for not following protocol and in not contacting me after two occurrences they overstep their bounds and remove my right to discipline my child because the behavior escalated and then I have to pay the burden for that by doing extra travel when he should be able to get on the bus I have to drive him to school I have to make other accommodations it's ridiculous no repercussion to the school really and I'm supposed to censor that and then during the conversation, Mr. Moylan did make it clear that last year when he saw that the bus, this certain bus route, w was a bad scene and unsafe because of behaviors that were being repeated by many students on the bus, that he did implement a monitor, which I know nothing about, and I've asked for documentation because I don't believe that's true. He said it was there on a part-time basis, same lady that's there now. <coughs> I I'm awaiting proof of that. Um, but even if he did, what he told me is that he has the authority to enact policy on the bus as well he should be able to. But you see, the middle school then principal should have the same authority because they share the same bus. Same bus takes middle school and high school. And 
when I asked him if the middle school should have that authority, he had no comment. And he admitted that he knew the answer, but he had no comment. You see, the middle school lied to me last year, and I'm just realizing it now when the principal told me that he couldn't put a monitor on the bus because that was one of my first suggestions after having a conversation with the bus driver who I've known since I'm 16, who also had requested it for several years. So the middle school, several accounts of them lying. Uh, the high school now, looking like I'm not as intelligent as they are and going to allow me to video or audio record the, the meeting but not release it publicly? What other information might these people know, Mr. Moylan, if they were to see that? I don't know. I'm going to have to research the law and I'll get back to you. If the law says I can release the video publicly, then I will. Um, out of respect for his request, I'm going to wait until I know what the law says. So you can just stew about that. What, what else might be in there that he doesn't want you to know? And I also, in talking with parents, talked to a parent of a student who is just a, a beautiful student, beautiful human being. Uh, she very intelligent. <coughs> and that person told me that Mr. Moylan does play favorites. Now, his child is on the benefit of that favoring and has received special gifts and stuff. Now, I'm not against that, okay? And I don't expect the principal to, um, you know, do special things for every student because there's just too many students. And as long as all the students have at least one teacher in their day that is that special student, then the system works. That's great. But when certain students feel like they're under attack, that's not great. Okay, and if you're going to cater to the elite, that's not okay either. So, anyway, there's a Monday update. I have another school meeting this afternoon for my uh, son Joseph. Um, because of the content of that, I won't be able to release that because it, it could uh, violate someone else's privacy. Uh, if not, then, then I'll give you that information as well later today. Hacker News tonight, 6 o'clock, uh, East Coast time, UCY TV. Link to that will be below. Catch up on it. Nothing is secure. Everything's a mess. And uh, more importantly, folks, if you see these flyers around, or, or if you're in that situation, or if you know somebody in the SAU 9 school district, please uh, have them get with me. I need to document this. Um, I've heard the stories, and I am starting to document. There's a few testimonies on video already out there. More coming. Um, more uh, email overviews coming as soon as I can process all that. I'm way behind on everything. So um, anyway, again, thanks for the love and support. Uh, and, you know, as I've said before, it's best to always expect me. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.